the extraterrestrials who are our ancestors and they were assisted by the great beings that were on the planet at the time. And another, another thing that people may not be aware of is extraterrestrials had technology called 3D printing, which a lot of people are now starting to get back into. And they were able to utilize these three massive 3D printers to, to you know, do a lot of the building on the planet. That's why sometimes people can't work out how, how did they do it, you know. But yeah, it was built by extraterrestrials and assisted by, by men on, on the planet. Did you ask why they were built as well? Okay. Oh, go ahead, yeah. <laughs> like schools of thought, higher learning. So the pyramids would give off um, SCW, which would be standing like com columnar wave. What size of pyramid? Yeah, we've got a book called Science, Science of the Pyramids, of pyramid. actually. Um, but it's many purposes. So mm. that's one my brothers mentioned. They were like schools, but they were also built on like specific magnetic, um, the magnetic grid on the planet mm. for extraterrestrials to come and charge their crafts because they use a different form of technology called blast electricity. Um, they were used to balance out the planet. Um, so if you look at most of the structures on the planet, South America, they're all running on, a partic on particular ley lines. Um, yeah, there were many reasons for the pyramids and they're not, the way they look today is not what they used to be. Um, they used to also have like um, lime scale, mm. they were proper like shiny, they were different pyramids as well. And then other things, there are more pyramids in other places than the pyramids that in Giza that everybody talks about. There's a lot of pyramids in um, in Sudan, in South America, you know, just different places. So they were built for many different reasons. Yeah, and the ones, the, the pyramids in Sudan are older than the ones in Giza. Yeah, and they, they give off something called standard columnar waves, yeah. which were helping people to transform from um, a negative, negative aura or energy field to a, a positive, negative, and then to positive, positive. So they were also used for what we call the journey within, because when you did that ritual, you were able to transform your energy from a negative aura to a positive aura. Yeah. I can get that in El Mugaraj. That's that's the ritual that we're talking about. Goes more into depth than that. 